Hey tires, Darren here. Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying up a pattern I call the Mirror Boatman. This is a pattern I developed for fishing the Pothole Lakes of Alberta and specifically Mirror Lake just outside of Edmonton. These are bugs that I fish in the spring and mostly in the fall when the actual water boatmen are doing their um, mating rituals. This is a fly that I weight so when you're casting it it'll often smack and this kind of replicates what the natural bugs are doing so I let this smack onto the water and I let it fully sink and then I retrieve it back to the surface using a quick short strips like two to three inches I use a rubber or a stretch flex legs and I tie them a little bit forward if I can and this just helps them undulate as I'm doing the strip through the water so let's have a look at the materials and get started. All right, let's get a fresh hook in the vise. I'm going to be using a Mustad S82, and that's the Mustad 3906B uh, in the signature. And we're going to use a size 10. This is a little bit bigger than what I'd normally use, but just for uh, the sake of being on camera here, we'll give you a little bit better view of what we're doing. So I've got a black 6 aught thread. Just put on a base layer of thread. And I'm going to take a little bit of my 030 wire, uh, lead wire, and we're just going to add a few wraps here. Maybe five or six, probably good. I'm just going to cut that using the back of my scissors just so I don't dull those. And uh, I usually just use the flat part of my scissors just to round that over. And the same on the back side here. Just add a couple wraps of thread just to kind of secure that. I don't think that's going anywhere. All right, I'm going to use a little bit of pearl crystal flash. I'm just going to take one strand. I'm going to double it over. And we'll tie that in right along the back of the hook. And this is just, I tied this in just to kind of represent a bit of uh, trailing air bubbles. All right, next I'm gonna take a little bit of black matte uh, flashaboo. This is nice limp stuff, so it'll work out really well as a shell back. So I'm gonna take a small clump and I'm gonna double it over just so I get a, uh, a bigger shell back out of this. So we'll just tie that along the back and kind of want to flatten it out a little bit as we come up. Then I'm just going to double it over. If you tie in a bunch of these, you can probably just use a bigger clump of uh, flashaboo just to get you started. Alright, so I'm just going to come in front of these legs here. I'm going to use a stretch floss. This is like a, a rubbery spandex lycra 
type rubber leg. This one's a, a Superfly product. It's a little bit square, I guess. So we're just going to take one leg. And I probably want this to be a little bit longer than the uh, length of the hook. So we'll just start by tying that on with kind of a cross wrap. And then we'll add another wrap in behind here. And I want these legs to come forward a little bit. I'm going to trim that just to length. So we got those tied on there, and then I'll just pull them back a little bit just to put a bit of a thread dam in front of those. Just don't want to wrap them down. So when they're going through the water, they've got a little bit of body to them, so they're going to move quite a bit. So when you jerk the fly forward, these will pull back, and then when it stops, they should come forward a little bit. It's the idea of the fly. Alright, I'm going to take my favorite dubbing, the DD-144. I've got a little bit here left before the world supply runs out. Uh, this is the bronze olive, but if you have uh, ice dub in peacock or golden brown works nicely as well. So we're just going to dub a little bit of that ice dub on here. Start by the back and we'll just build up a body towards the legs. Just have to be careful you don't pin those legs down. And do a wrap in front, behind, just to make sure those get covered. A little bit more dubbing there, fill that in. Just want to make sure that you get that completely covered. Be just a little bit tricky there, working in and around those legs. All right. I'm just going to put a half hitch in here at the head. All right. Now we're going to take all this. Uh, Flash of good material. Just want to bunch it up, pull it over the back. You just want to kind of make sure everything's pulled forward. And we'll add a couple wraps here. So that one's a little bit better, it's a bit, of a bit nicer coverage than. Uh, the one I showed in the preview there. So we'll pull this back, add a couple wraps underneath, trim that off, and then we'll just clean up this head. And we'll add a whip finish. I just want to show you one more little thing that I do with this fly and that's just to add a pearlescent head cement and this is totally optional um, but I use the loon hard head and this is the pearlescent white I use this on a lot of my minnow bodies as well just make sure you shake it up before you apply it on there and you don't need a lot just a little bit on there that gives it a little bit extra 
bit of a sparkle on the head. There you go. That's my Muir Boatman. Hey Fly Tires, thanks for stopping by and watching my Fly Tying videos. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified on the latest fly patterns, tips, and reviews. If you've enjoyed the video, hit that like button and post a comment below. If you'd like to support the content on the channel and get rewarded, you can visit my Patreon page. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your bites. Cheers.